So let's talk a little bit about editors, the editor connection. These relationships with editors are so valuable. They're so gold, so much so that like when one of your editors leaves like a publication that you really like or that you've published them before, you feel like you're like a lost soul because they were your advocate. Um, and so it's these relationships are very key. How do you do this? Well, like I said, um, it's a long game and it starts with that very first email. It can start with a rejection. Every time you con have contact with an editor, that's one more point on your sort of relationship web. So even if you get a rejection, you've still started that relationship and you can come back later. You can come back the next month and say, oh, thanks for taking a look at my pitch last month. I've got an idea this month that I think might work better. Um, and you're building that familiarity. Um, so think about it that way instead of like, oh, they rejected me, they hate me, they never wanna to talk to me because that's not how they think of it, okay? Every touch point with an editor is another warm step toward a yes. When people like you and feel connected to you, they're just more likely to say yes. Um, touch points with editors can include social media convos, LinkedIn connections, responding to their pitch calls, sending pitches and getting rejected, but staying cordial, attending events to meet and make personal connections. Okay, what do editors want right now? Let's talk a little bit about it's 2024. What are they looking for? Some of this is old, some of this is new, okay? They're looking for writers who pay attention. They're looking for people who actually know their magazine or their publication. Um, somebody that's not pitching what they covered last week or recently. Like, like I said earlier, you don't have to, you know, be a, oh, I read every story in this magazine to like be familiar. You can read a few stories and sort of get the gist and then come to them in the pitch, like as if you know them pretty well. Um, just a little bit of uh, research goes a long way, okay? And, and, and when we're talking about, on that note, when we're talking about your stories, like your most deep personal stories or your most important subjects you wanna talk about, it is worth the time it takes to do that investigation. This is not just like, oh, a one and done, like I'm gonna write this story in one day. This is like a, this is important to you. It's worth the time. Like people will spend years on books, but not willing to spend weeks on, a, on an article. Well, I think that's silly because articles can get more attention and make more of a difference than a book even. So think about it that way. Okay, editors want writers who fact check. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a great story that falls apart in fact checking. And then that editor would never wanna work with you again. So please do your diligence. Uh, they want writers who meet deadlines. So yeah, make your editor's life as easy as possible. You want them to love working with you so that they wanna work with you again. If you're not meeting deadlines, if you make it really hard for them, they're not gonna to wanna to work with you again, okay? Editors want writers who ask questions. Okay, newer writers tend to be fearful of asking for clarity or direction. Like I've worked with people and they'll say, oh, what do you think? Like, should I, I'm like, just ask, just ask. They're people, they'll answer you. It's okay, like you're not supposed to know the answer. So don't be afraid to ask questions for clarity and all of that. Uh, editors want writers who are great reporters. Go above and beyond in ensuring that you have the facts and the right perspectives. Be, no matter what you're writing, be a reporter. I don't care if you're writing opinion. I don't care. You need to, to have the facts about what you're writing. You need to be able to link back to the stats um, because your opinion is not grounded. Um, now we wanna make people feel, and there's a whole art to persuasive writing that we're gonna go through in the course, um, but you always need to have that reporter mindset. I think that's so key and it will make you stand out. Editors are looking for people that, writers that don't have to be the best. Not that you shouldn't be able to write well, of course, but your story idea and the details and the way you approach it are actually more important than your writing skills, okay? If you've got the story, your writing skills can get fixed in editing. Um, and so that's what I want you to think about as you're pitching your story. And lastly, writers want editor, or sorry, editors want writers who are open to editing. Don't be precious if you can help it. Like you gotta, let those darlings be killed sometimes. And that's just part of it. Like, I, I feel like I, I don't have a weakness with this. Like I'm okay when, when my stuff is edited somewhat. Um, but I know some people have a harder time with it, but when you're working with other publications, like you kind of have to let it be unless they're completely changing what you want to say.